Silks Clue. Copy him. Yuri Malenchenko has now sent uh, the escape commands uh, to the automated transfer vehicle. And, uh, observe the vehicle separation. Final escape. Uh, Departure from the vicinity of the International Space Station underway. You can see the thrusters firing on the Jules Verne to initiate its uh, departure from the station, but not for long. It'll be back in 72 hours uh, to initiate its final docking to the complex. And uh, reporting on the status. All right, very good. We passed 20 meter mark. Point 37 rate. Vehicles are separating. All parameters. Routed parameters are nominal, and uh, all systems are nominal. Copy him. Uh, we have a confirmation from ATVCC on uh, escape uh, having been successfully performed. Um. Two of the 28 thrusters uh, that are used uh, for fine navigational uh, maneuvers for the Jules Verne, uh, firing it, uh, essentially lowering it uh, below the orbit of the International Space Station for its uh, final departure from the complex. And we have passed 60. Point, uh, Visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports uh, that the videometers and the telegoniometers, the two laser systems on the, the Jules Verne, continuing uh, to shoot laser pulses toward the retro reflectors on the aft cone of the Zvezda service module, uh, updating and computing navigational data as the Jules Verne departs the station for 72 hours of phasing that will bring it back around for its eventual docking to the complex on Thursday at 9.41 a.m. Central Time. The wide angle from the ATV panel in work selected. And you can go ahead and uh, activate the AGC mode. And uh, you can choose the most convenient mode for you for proper monitoring of the vehicle departure. One sixty, copy. And all systems are nominal. On Thursday, uh, the Jules Verne will replicate uh, many of, of the maneuvers that it executed today, with the exception of uh, the interim way station points uh, during which time uh, several commands were sent uh, to put the ATV in reverse uh, to test uh, the crew's ability uh, to send abort commands uh, in the unlikely event a failure of the automated rendezvous system should occur. Uh, that will not be the case on uh, Thursday if all goes as planned when uh, the Jules Verne will reach uh, those same interim waypoints for station keeping, but this time press all the way in for a docking uh, to complete uh, what amounts uh, to a three and a half week transit from the launch pad in Kourou, French Guiana. The uh, Jules Verne was launched atop an Ariane 5 rocket in the early morning hours of March 9th from the jungle launch site uh, for Ariane Spas uh, in Kourou, French Guiana on the northern coast of South America. The International Space Station and the Jules Verne are currently uh, flying over the northwest coast of Africa, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. All of today's activities uh, went by the book. No issues uh, reported by any of the flight control teams here in Houston. The lead flight control uh, center in Toulouse, France, uh, for the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle, or the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev, Russia. All three flight control teams working in tandem in uh, this complex uh, 
ballet that uh, resulted in the Jules Verne approaching to within 36 feet of the station, testing all of its systems in preparation for its eventual docking on Thursday. The uh, International Space Station's mission management team will convene once again on Wednesday uh, to review all of the data from today's exercise uh, before it uh, gives a go-no-go -no -go decision for docking. Uh, but based on uh, the preliminary look at all of the activities today, uh, that should be a fairly routine review with no uh, systems issued identified uh, by any of the flight control teams uh, either here in Houston or in Toulouse or Karyov. The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports a good departure rate uh, for the Jules Verne. Again, uh, its laser systems uh, were tested today along uh, with the ability of the onboard uh, crew. Yuri Malenchenko, the flight engineer in charge of Russian segment operations, uh, joined by Commander Peggy Whitson and flight engineer Garrett Riesman. As Malenchenko, uh, at various points of today's approach by the ATV, sent uh, commanding uh, to the onboard computers uh, on uh, the automated transfer vehicle to retreat and hold and resume its approach uh, to the station, exercising an abort capability, essentially a collision avoidance capability in the unlikely event uh, that a problem would occur with any of the uh, Jules Verne's critical rendezvous systems. All of that activity uh, functioned uh, as advertised. And no uh, issues uh, with the hardware reported as uh, the Jules Verne uh, crosses the limit of the Earth, silhouetted against uh, the clouds, uh, of North West Africa, soon uh, to pass across uh, the Sahara Desert and over the Mediterranean. Moments ago, uh, the Jules Verne was just uh, within striking distance of the aft uh, docking port of the Zvezda service module. Now separating at a rate of about 3.8 meters per second, more than 1,000 meters away from uh, what will be its eventual uh, port of call, uh, the aft port of the Zvezda service module on Thursday. This uh, escape maneuver will eventually result in the automated transfer vehicle winding up uh, as it did after Saturday's first series of demonstration maneuvers. It will ultimately wind up about 24 statute miles behind the station and maintain a uh, relative uh, motion uh, toward the station at that distance before it reinitiates its uh, final approach for docking on Thursday. NASA television coverage on Thursday of the uh, final uh, demonstration approach of the uh, automated transfer vehicle and its final docking uh, to the station will begin Thursday at 7 a.m. Central Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, with the docking scheduled at 9.41 a.m. Central Time. With uh, the automated transfer vehicle now uh, phasing away to a safe distance away from the station, having uh, completed all of its objectives uh, for today's second demonstration day of uh, systems tests, the uh, solar arrays on the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station will be returned uh, to an auto-tracking capability, as will the arrays on the U.S. segment of the complex.